If you want to know the best comedy movies, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2023 so far. It's just that I'm not 21. That doesn't matter here. Well, I think it's a, a federal law. <laughs> Number 10. Joyride, directed by Adele Lim. In this comedic journey of self-discovery, we follow four Chinese-American friends on an unforgettable adventure through China as they seek the truth about their birth mothers. With a seamless blend of raunchy humor and genuine heart, we get to explore the essence of identity and the power of friendship. Buckle up for a unique and captivating joyride that fearlessly shocks with its gross-out gags. Never had sex. Our connection is based on spiritual, not physical intimacy. Did you have a spiritual connection when the Jonas Brothers were Eiffel Towering you? No. <laughs> 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 oh my God. Number nine. Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Barbie! Hi, Ken! Barbie is a fantasy comedy film directed by Greta Gerwig. In this visually dazzling take on the iconic plastic toy, we follow Barbie, who lives the perfect dream life in Barbie Land, while Ken seeks a deeper connection with her. But a twist of fate leads Barbie and Ken to the real world, where they confront the meaning of their existence. With clever twists and a controversial message, this film shows a thought-provoking adventure about women against men. Let's beat you off. Anyone who wants to beat him off has to beat me off first. I will beat both of you off at the same time. But you don't even know how to beat yourself off. How are you going to beat oh, both of us off? It doesn't make sense. Can? You can beat yourself off. Beat you're going to beat both of us off. Nobody's going to beat anyone off. Number eight. I meant to ask this on the phone, but how old are you? Well. No Hard Feelings is a sex comedy film directed by Gene Stupninsky. With a good load of raunchy humor, No Hard Feelings sees 32-year-old Maddie on the brink of losing her home until an unusual Craigslist ad changes her life. Hired by helicopter parents to fake date their 19-year-old loser son, she has one summer to make him a man. But he proves to be more of a challenge than she expected, and time is running out before she loses it all. Okay, Long Island I see for America's sweetheart and one for the boy. Uh, this is the worst iced tea I've ever had. Number seven. How long can they keep us in Asteroid City? Legally, I mean. Well, I'm not an attorney, but I'd say as long as they like. Asteroid City is a comedy drama film written and directed by Wes Anderson. Hooking longtime Wes Anderson fans with his signature style, colorful sense of the absurd, and world-changing events, Asteroid City follows a writer on his world-famous fictional play about a grieving father who travels with his tech-obsessed family to small, rural Asteroid City. Here they clash with a large, star-cast group of students and parents in a junior stargazing event, only to have their worldview disrupted forever. My Step orders back. are easy, fellas. We're not in Guadalcanal okay, anymore. Okay, okay. Everyone, please. It's been a typical quarantine. I'll stop, stop you right now! now. Stand down! You hear that? General Gibson says stand down! You married? Of course. Number six. Am I dead? No, no. You've been healing so quickly. Bo is Afraid is a surrealistic tragicomedy horror film written and directed by Ari Aster, with a masterful combination of gruesome horror and deep psychological motifs. Bo is Afraid takes on the spiritual journey of a man exploring his darkest fears, paranoias, and most of all, traumas. When he tries to visit his mother over the weekend, Bo learns that he must take some detours. He's the one who dressed and treated your wounds? You're a lucky man. What was this? That's my little assistant health monitor. Keeps track of your condition. Number five. So you're like a designer? Or... Oh, are you saying I couldn't be a model? No, I just I... assume. I... Cause... I'm fucking with you. Rye Lane is a romantic comedy drama film directed by Rain Allen Miller. Anyone searching for a funny, charming, and heartfelt rom-com journey will find a new favorite in Rye Lane. Following Yaz and Dom, two strangers who each recently went through bad breakups from Nightmare Exes through an eventful day in South London, where they will connect and find hope for new romance. You know you're very... Peng? Refreshingly disarming. You ask a little question. I'm interested in people's messes. What makes you think I've got a mess? Everyone has a mess. Hi. Number four. Trusting that you'll protect it with your very life. I will. Hold this. 
Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves is a fantasy heist comedy film directed by Jonathan Goldstein and John Francis Daly. This irresistibly charming comedy with a heartfelt core entertains franchise fans and newcomers alike. Following a band of dishonorable thieves on the hunt for a mysterious relic, they run afoul of the wrong party, setting them on a hilarious action-packed adventure that brings the rich world and playful spirit of the legendary fantasy role-playing game to the big screen. Celebrate lasses, celebrate lasses. What's going on? What's going on? Oh, my foot is stuck. Concentrate. Braid, 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 braid. Number three. We're looking for a bra for my daughter. Hmm. Well, we don't have many that small, but come with me, dear. I'll measure you. Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret is a coming-of-age comedy drama film directed by Kelly Freeman Craig. This long-awaited adaptation does subtle justice to themes of puberty and delivers an exploration of youth that will inspire generations to come. Introducing us to a troubled trio of lovable characters, we follow 11-year-old Margaret, who moves from the city to the suburbs and leaves behind all her friends, which is only one of her new problems. All right. Can I see? How's that feel? I cannot wait to take it off. Yeah. Welcome to womanhood. Number two. Blackberry, directed by Matt Johnson. As sharply funny as it is wittily written, Blackberry retells the actual story of two beat-down visionaries on their journey to invent the world's first smartphone, the Blackberry. But what can rise to fame can also fall from grace like a comet. In this unconventional tale of modern business, you become first-hand witnesses to a story that shows the dangerous speed at which innovators race along the information highway. Sorry, have you seen Star Wars? No. So, okay, picture a pager, a cell phone, and an email machine all in one thing. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. Focus on your needs. I mean, I just haven't thought about any of my needs in years. But if you were to stop focusing on his needs, what would happen? If I don't... Yeah, what would what? happen? Stop focusing on his needs, what would happen? He won't grow to full power. Show us a stunt, then. Piss off, Kovac. I've had enough of your shite for one morning. Minus 10 house points. Insubordination. You can't minus house points. Oh. I think you'll find I can. What'd you see? It's demented or something. What? <laughs> Can I get the camera? Yeah. Give me the camera. <sighs> Demented? Number one. Push down on it. What? Push it down. I am pushing down on it. Push the button. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 is a superhero film directed by James Gunn. Concluding the epic saga of the universe's most unlikely heroes, it is no surprise anymore that the Guardians are one of Marvel's best franchises. Building upon the events of Endgame, a new threat is on the horizon, and this time it could mean the end of the Guardians as we know and love them. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.